Why, hello everybody. This is TTKB, and we are doing a little short stack today on Limbo. Yeah, it is a pretty old game by Playdead. Um, if, if you've never checked it out before, you are missing out on a creepy, entrancing, atmospheric puzzle game. Um, and yeah, let's, let's just let's just dive in. I'm not gonna load any chapters, or maybe I should. You know what? I will. I'm actually gonna load up further into the game, just because there are like. First off, there there is a bit of a story, but honestly, if you've never played the game, I suggest you figure out what the story is on your own. First off, and then secondly, most of the time in any other playthroughs beforehand many people like they just show either the demo which is like the first four sections here or so or actually like all the way up to there yeah they usually show up to the fourth section and so you know what we're, we're gonna go past that we're gonna show a bit afterwards and I uh, hope you enjoy I, I'm probably gonna be kind of quiet for this uh, okay I'm not signed in well I'm gonna be kind of quiet just because this game I, I mean it's it's really it's really atmospheric. It, like look already, I'm I'm kind of scared. It's one of those games that it's it's not even a scary game. There's no reason for me to be scared, and yet here I am freaking the fuck out because okay, essentially the whole mechanic is every puzzle is a different way for you to die, and your the whole point is you gotta try and avo avoid those traps. So we're going to try that now, and I'm going to try and run for my life, and I'm dead. And that's how Limbo works. So, let's let's try again, shall we? Alright, we're going we're gonna to go a little, go a little, and boom. And that's how you really avoid it. This is, this is what you do. Alright, now the next problem, because I don't remember how to get past that, is to not actually jump over there, because that would be suicide. So we're gonna we're gonna climb up. We're gonna, not gonna follow that guy because he was smart enough to grab that. Just just dead bodies everywhere. My God. Honestly, this. So I I'm already bad with horror games, so that might be part of the reason why this game freaks me the fuck out so badly. But honestly, it's also just a creepy ass game. It really this look like look at this look at this. I'm being chased by a goddamn evil spider. There's nothing okay about this. Please, oh god, someone help me. Someone someone save me now, please. For this is not fair. Oh, and then this fun part because you can't just run away. Nah, you got to you got to you got to let them you got to let them climb on so that you can do that. <laughs> you got to let them get close. Otherwise, otherwise how you going to get away? Can't get away. Get get on that. Oh, 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 I fell and I'm dead. All right. Where am I starting off from? I'm probably starting from where the bear traps were. Oh no. Okay, we're starting from the spot chase. Yeah. Oh yeah, he he managed to grab onto somebody. I forgot about that. Nice. Up, up. Okay, get up, get up on the trunk. Let him get a little closer. Let him play, play a little, play a little chicken with him. Play a little, let him, let him think that he'll, he'll get the taste, that he'll get a touch, but he won't, cause, cause we're better than that, cause we're smooth criminals. Mm. Get, get the fuck up on there, God, and this time jump, yay! All right. Oh hey, oh shit! I'll run. But yeah, don't, don't, don't think it's done. It's, it's not done. And then run for your life hide under here specifically and now we're good all right game set match spider game set match mm. Let me get on up so this is the first game from play dead and actually another game is currently in the making that they plan on um, I don't. I think they're planning on releasing it this year. I'm not exactly sure, 
but it already looks like it's like a spiritual uh, successor to Limbo. Essentially, it has the same like dark tones and it looks like it might just be a shadow person and that's what you get to work with and well shit and who's that and why and oh god oh hey this is spider oh god he's he's still he's still alive can i can i grab this nope Woo! now we can yeah so you didn't know uh, if you use b you can uh grab things and then pull that right on out and now he's harmless now he's just a little a little ball of fuzz come on buddy i'm gonna roll you over here we're gonna have a good time come on let's go let's go i'm pretty sure that's his mouth and i'm pretty sure if he was still alive he'd be able to chop my face off he also sort of looks like a walrus if, if you pay attention to that silhouette so, just right just right all right thanks spider buddy you're the best oh yeah spiritual successor is coming out soon and it, it looks just as haunting and just as creepy and just like as mes mesmerizing as this does. And I, I can't wait to actually play it. I, I really want to play that one. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for it because this game, it took me forever to beat and not because the puzzles are exactly hard. Further on, they become ridiculous. Like these, uh, wait, hold on. Oh no, that was stupid. I could have broken my neck there. If you fall far enough, you will die. Just just so you know. Um, it didn't take forever. Like, later on, the puzzles do get a little more intense. And there will come a time where it's just like, oh no, this this doesn't work. There we go. Boom. Perfect. That, that's what I wanted. Let me get that box down here. But the real reason it took me forever is just because, honestly, like I said, I don't play horror games a lot. And that I don't plan on changing that for this channel ever. If someone forces me to, I'm going to cry the entire time, damn it. But this game I played just because it didn't seem that s scary at first. But then the further I get in, like, you know, like that. Like, just seeing a, a dead floating body and... What looks like somebody um underwater who probably got cement shoes and and got and got buried at sea yeah no then i started seeing things like this and i was like oh well shit uh, and that was stupid of me and i'm dead yep can't swim can't swim i forgot that the guy shows up and and swims towards you so yeah Oh, and then and here's this. This this looks like it'll be fine, right? I should be good. I'll be great. All right. Well, that worked out. So, you might be wondering, uh, yeah, how 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 do we get past this? Well, we're just gonna come come right back over here and do something utterly disgusting. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take this body and and now let it float away. Yep, yep, you guessed it. Hold on, let me let me push it, push it from his bottom, from his booty. Can I get it from the booty? If you push it any other way, you might can't miss that twerk. Can't miss that twerk. And we're just gonna throw him on in there. Lovely, lovely. All right, nice. Okay, and now let us go forth into the darkness. All right. What could possibly happen in here? Who knows? Oh, hey, these traps. Okay, well then. That was a trick, wasn't it? So yeah, this one. Yeah, that's not a button. You, you gotta jump on that. that. That is not a button. This one makes you think the same thing. Hey. So pretty much, you jump on this one, you're safe. This one, you avoid the jump, safe. Alright. And you're like, hey, 
awesome. Now I can now I can go back, right? There's no nothing to worry about. There's not there's not guy there with like two arrows in his goddamn chest. We're good, right? Oh shit! Oh god no! And then and then we run for our lives. And then hey, guess what? They don't know. They don't know about this. So he's dead. And then I'm just gonna watch this one. Alright! Yay! We're alive! Yay! And that is how you do the limbo, everybody. He didn't know how to do the limbo. He, he didn't listen to Sebastian in, in that in that live action show with, with Shaggy. He, he, he didn't pay attention. He don't know how to do the limbo quick. Jack, Jack be limbo, Jack be quick. Jack go on the limbo stick. All that time in limbo go, he let do the limbo run. Jack be limbo, Jack be quick. Jack go on the limbo stick. Alright. But uh, on this, on that note, I, I don't remember how to do this one. We're, we're going to see if I can figure this out. Already I've hit a puzzle that I, I don't exactly remember how to fucking do it. I just fell really far for no goddamn reason. I meant to jump. So we're going to jump. I do know got to pull on this, but don't fall into the gears. That will harm me. That will harm me. And then I can, I can hop down and then I can do this and then I get on that and I don't know why I did all that. Uh, uh, uh. But you know what? I, I think this is a good enough place to stop. Partially because I forgot how, how to do this puzzle. And partially because, you know, well, I feel like this is a good enough show, man. You seen you seen a couple puzzles, you seen how creepy this goddamn game is, you seen the spider almost kill me and then become a nice little mothball for everybody. Alright. So that everybody, I, I will I will bid you adieu. I'm gonna keep trying. Just because you know you know fucking know. Maybe maybe there's a good reason for me. No, there was a reason I take this out. Why the fuck do I take this out? Let's let's try. We're gonna we're gonna try it one more time. There has to be a good reason for me to have this out. Because otherwise, like it, it makes no sense to have it roll over. I think that's supposed to be a quicker way for me to get over after I drop down. Okay, so boom. If it's right there. All right. Eh. Eh. And okay. No. Oh no! I'm not gonna do it. Oh. I'm just gonna. Yep. Okay, we're done. See you guys later. Bye.